Welcome to Zero Hero, a short video blog from HBA and Compass aimed to make your zero journey easier. Please note that all the slides today have been created from existing Zero training videos. Zero has rapidly changed in the past few years, so sometimes the pictures that are used are old screenshots or overseas versions. Where possible, each session is followed up by a live demonstration. If you have any queries regarding any contact delivered today, feel free to contact me via email victoria at hbaencompass.com.au or phone 0754447094. Welcome to Managing Loans and Mortgages. If your bank will let you, you can set up bank feeds for loans. Some banks do, some banks don't. I don't have a, a list of who does and who doesn't. But even if you don't, we can actually set it up as a bank account on the dashboard, but then we will just export the transactions on a, a monthly basis and reconcile them, which just makes it quicker and easier to put the transactions through. The question here was instead of using bank rules, the bank rule is good for the actual payment from a business account to a loan, for perhaps a car loan or a, a business loan. But if you were going to bring in the other side of the transaction where you bring in the interest, then this is a better way of doing it. In this case, you would do transfers rather than bank rules, which if you have a lot of loans may take you more time, so it mightn't be worthwhile doing it this way. If you're not going to do it this way, you need to make sure that those loan accounts are ticked to enable payments to this account and then you can do a bank rule to make the actual loan payments through to it and then you can do a journal entry to, to bring the interest in on a, a monthly or quarterly basis. It depends how far you want to go with your bookkeeping. What we would do is we set the loan up as a bank account, the same process as we do for setting any other bank account up. Um, make sure that we've got our conversion balance for the, the opening balance in there. And then um, if it's a new loan or you haven't got the transactions, we may need to, to manually import a statement. Or you can go in with spend money and receive money and just put the transactions in if there's not too many there. If you've got a, the transfers going across for the payments and all you're going to do is bring the interest in off the statement, then it might be better just to use a spend money. might be a lot quicker and a lot easier. But keeping in mind that if you go to do a reconciliation on that account, that any manual import that you do for spend money um, will show up as an unreconciled transaction because it's something that you physically put in that it hasn't come across from the bank account. We set the, the loan up as a, a non-current liability. Um, it's between you and your accountant whether you class it as a current or non-current liability. Rule of thumb, anything that's current means it's going to be paid out in less than 12 months. So perhaps insurance funding or Accounting fee funding might go in as a current, but a, a car loan or a business loan generally goes non-current. Clicking on the chart of accounts and we add the account, we make it a current liability. We pick an account code that makes sense to us. We call it to name and we make sure we tick on that enable payments to this account. Then we do a bank rule that every time the payments come through, we set it up so that it goes to that loan account. My name is Victoria Berry. I'm one of the directors of, of HBA and Compass. So if you need to contact me, my email address is victoria at hbaencompass.com.au or of course our phone number is 0754 Thanks for listening.